Look at that girl. Hello. Beautiful girl, aren't you? Hey? What's up, guys? So, here we go. This is the start of the build for the full suspension Orange ST4 that I've got behind me. And um, yeah, I'm going to be documenting everything going through the process. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So we've got the um, we've got the 52 volt battery that comes with the Andy Kirby e-bike kit for the 1500 watt to 2000 watt rear wheel. And what I've done is taken the BMS which was situated on top of the battery and I've moved it onto the far side over the back here. So I've made this custom battery tray mount out of cardboard obviously it's not the final product i'm going to take it to a fabricator to have this made out of metal okay so i've just um frog taped the um the cardboard mount roughly into position now I've marked a couple of holes with a sharpie pen where the bottle holes are going to go what i'll do is put a hole in the underneath of this tray so you can uh, still screw it down into place i've decided to go single speed crank on the front last minute thing this afternoon so you're going to get to fitting it. Last one. And just like that, single speed crank conversion. Now comes the fun part of removing the gears. So here we go then guys. Single speed one by nine conversion done. This is the last I'm doing tonight. As you can see, it's getting dark now, but um, this is cardboard template for the um, metal battery tray that I'm going to have fabricated and uh, yeah I'll be dropping that down tomorrow morning. The difficulty I had was getting the angle to stay so I've got this little spacer to go in there. So today I'm going to be changing this handlebar stem and these crappy old 10 year old bars. Running out of daylight after messing around with them bars today. I'm going to see if I can manage to get this back wheel changed or released. See how far I can get with it. So let's go. Now, how many spaces do we have? Two big ones. This is the thing with the DIY bikes. The spacers really are DIY. You really have to kind of just figure out what you can get away with. You might have to add or remove spaces one side or the other. It's just the nature of it. Okay. It's pretty much fucking pitch black now. Time to fucking get this in. Right, the tyre's pumped up. Disc is on. Caliper's on. Last night, as you probably saw, I ran out of daylight. Run out of patience. Um, Managed to get the back wheel in. However, the brake was rubbing terribly, and uh, I've managed to adjust the position of the caliper a bit. That's helped out a bit. But just to make sure, I want to take the caliper back off from the pads and push the pistons back in, and then reset it all again. Excuse the um, ratchet straps. I'm just slightly, gently spreading the frame a little bit. I've been, um, I've had the wheel on and off three or four times, it spins up fine, and then I go and t try to test ride it on the pedal power, and it's just stiff and it's not moving. I thought I had problems with the disc being bent, I thought I had problems with the spacers on the back wheel. Neil from NJ Tech has solved the problem for me. These cables connectors that you've got for the back wheel, even though there's no battery on the frame, if two of these touch, 
the wheel will just literally act like regen braking. So watch this. Spinning up. So if any of you guys are building a DIY e-bike and you haven't got these cables taped up and you don't think the wheel is spinning or there's a problem with the wheel, there's nothing wrong with it. It's completely normal. Big shout out to Neil from NJ Tech for sorting me out on that one because I've literally wasted half a day. That's it for this first episode on this bike build. Managed to get the um, battery tray template made out of cardboard and sent off to the fabricator. Hopefully I should get that back soon. Starting from the rear, I've got the rear hub motor on now. That's all fitted. Um, single speed, one by nine crank setup all done. Whole suspension's been replaced at the rear, Cane Creek, DB Air shock bearings replaced. Up front we've got the Renfrew Fat Pars version 2 all fitted, new grip, cycle computers fitted now. Off on a new mug guard, discs front and back, pads. And I'm off to um, off to Andy Kirby's tomorrow to get the um, some of the electric sorted. Hopefully uh, Neil will be there. Thanks Gabby. You want to ruin my video? Come here. Oh, geez. Oh, what have you seen a pretty cat? Hey? Hey? Who's she? Alright. Yes. End of, uh, end of part one about this bike build. And uh, tune in soon to hopefully see the uh, finished project. <laughs>